Hello YouTube, I'm starting to work on my Winchester 1895 uh, Russian contract lever action. Here's the rifle as I got it. As you can see it's been heavily sporterized. It's missing quite a few parts. The barrel was actually shortened which will prevent me from restoring it to the true original configuration but I'll do my best to make uh, a shorter version of the musket. The rear sight was replaced and I'll be replacing it back with, a, with an original rear sight. Um, it'll be kind of challenging because one of the screws here is uh, a wrong screw. The forehand was shortened, uh, which is quite common in sporters. The buttstock was it seemed to have been an original buttstock that was just reshaped. I don't know why someone would do this, but uh, this is what it looks like now. It's got some white inlays in it, and uh, this the shape in the back is really uncomfortable for me to use, so uh, definitely has to go. And I'll be using a reproduction buttstock that is part of the set that I got from Gunville. Here you can see that the charger guides are missing on the rifle, which are very specific to the Russian contract, a contract Winchester 1895 uh, musket. But you can see also that the metal is in pretty great condition. There is no rust or pitting anywhere. So um, in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is that I've already located quite a few parts, and I'm going to show you those parts. Um, I've also started to fit uh, the reproduction buttstock to this rifle. So I'll show you that in the video and how I actually went about it. So stay tuned. I'll roll this next image basically and then we'll get back to the video and uh, and take a look at progress so far. As you can see um, I've just put on these charger guides which are really hard to find and uh, the look pretty nice on this gun as in um, the finish remaining finish on them matches the finish on the receiver so I'm very happy with that right now I'm just starting to work on the stock butt stock let me show you the original here's what the here's what the butt stock was on the rifle someone had uh, shortened it and basically cut this new crescent shape into it and uh, put this butt pad on <clears throat> just did some stuff to it basically that I don't like so what I want to do is restore it to the original configuration so I got a repro stock set from Gunville and here is that reproduction stock it has a lot of extra wood on it, so I'm going to have to do a lot of shaping. What I've done so far is uh, work on getting it fitted to the rifle. And I think I'm getting pretty close, as you can see, hopefully here. There is the imprint of the receiver on the front here. And so far what I've done is kind of make sure that at the rear, the receiver doesn't touch or contact uh, the buttstock, which I think is the proper way to fit it. Let me just show you how it fits currently. Here's that extra wood I was talking about. Stands proud of the receiver in all areas. So I'm going to have to relieve a lot of this, but there are no gaps. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, that black stuff you see on the receiver at the buttstock is the uh, inletting die. So all of that wipes off. It's just this oily, greasy, black substance. So it wipes off very easily. Again, no gaps anywhere. 
We'll take the buttstock off. There it is. <clears throat> so that's one. Um, I wanted to show you also <coughs> all of these hard to find parts um, that I was able to gather. As you can see, I've got two original rear sights. I've got the original sling mount that I took apart for cleaning. It was very rusted, as you can see. It's all pitted. I got a butt plate that's also pretty pitted, but still retains some finish. I'm pretty happy I got them. My, my barrel was shortened um, on this, what, what's supposed to be a Russian musket. It's supposed to be a 28 inch long barrel. The forend I got, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, but you can see that right now, the length of the forend even extends past my, my uh, barrel. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have to cut it back to about here in order for me to be able to use it on this rifle and still have the barrel bends um, on it. So, very smooth action, very nicely done. It's a great rifle. So, <clears throat> chambered in 7.62 by 54R, which is a Russian cartridge that is used in Mosin Nagants, SVTs, uh, SVDs. What you do is use very little of it. I usually use only what's on the cap. Then I'll just apply it very sparingly on all areas of the receiver that I'm interested in. Seeing if, uh, if my buttstock is going to touch them. And like I said, it wipes off super easy, so, especially with oil. <clears throat> There's no worry about ruining the finish or anything like that. So once I've done that, I'm going to put the stock on you right now again all right <clears throat> so the stock is now on now we're going to take it off and look at it here's the imprint imprint of the receiver you can see where it touches the stock. And I can actually see a bit of it touching in the back here. So I'm gonna relieve that a little bit. What I would do is use the gouge and try and remove it basically from here, this section, from this section. I don't want to take the flats I don't want to do anything on the flats because I think that's where the receiver should be tight. And uh, I use Riffler file rasp, this one that comes in the set. You can see this curvature actually does allow you to get into some tight spaces. So I had to relieve this area of the buttstock because that's where the, the mainspring or the hammer spring sits and uh, before it used to be too low so my, it would depress on the hammer spring so I had to relieve that a little bit. I also had to relieve a couple of high spots here uh, that were just left over from uh, reproduction um, router setup and mainly I've been using it to work on the front here. I would just take my 
rasp and go over the areas that were left black essentially and I'll just show you even though they're perfectly fine now the only reason why I'm still touching it is because I can see a lot more contact here than here so I'm going to reduce this area and here it's the exact opposite on this side so I'm going to try and reduce this area a little bit but that's basically it this is basically the process <clears throat> I will show you the same thing uh, when I do the fore four end fitting <clears throat> So yeah, let's put the stock back on. There you go.